Hi, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankar Marktech channel. In my previous video, I have introduced you to AEM's HTL Cyclic code. And in this video, we are going to learn more about HTL's global objects. This video is part of AEM Tutorials for Beginners playlist, the link for which I'll give it out in the description box. Please check it out if you are interested. And please do not forget to share, like and subscribe. Let's get started with the presentation. As I've explained in my previous video, these are the high level tasks which we can do as part of the AEM HTL language. Okay, in, and these four elements which we have seen in our previous video. Okay, so today we are going to see about this concept of uh, global objects. Okay, so what are these global objects and why do we use them? Okay, so that's what we are going to understand. Okay, so for that I want to remind you whatever I have covered in my previous videos again that there are two processes involved in content rendering flow. One process is that in AEM we create a component and we make it authorable. Author can open the dialog box and he can enter few properties here. Okay, so for example, if you see this one, okay, so I have a component here, uh, a hello component. Okay, and if I, I can just open this uh, dialog box and I can enter some values here and that value will get reflected here. So if I just enter uh, Ahlo Aditya one, so that value will get reflected here. Okay, so this is one thing that the dialog box has to open and you have to give ability to enter some value. And once entered, that value should get saved in the database, right? So now I have opened this particular dialog box, okay? And I have entered some value, right? And this value has to be saved in the database. So where exactly that is getting saved? Okay, so uh, to understand that we need to go into this page because we have added uh, this component, which is hello, right? We have added this component onto this page, right? So we go into this particular component. Okay, so this particular page first. Okay, and inside this page, we'll find out that component. Okay, so first I went into the page. Okay, so then I opened the JCR content and I saw what all components are added. And here I see my component getting added. In this component, here I see uh, the value which I have entered, which is uh, hello Aditya, right? Uh, so whatever I have entered is getting saved here. So this is our database. So th that is where it is getting saved. Okay, so that is one thing which we need to understand. Then once it is saved, that value is being pulled and shown into the UI. Okay, so this is another flow which is working. Okay, so now how is this flow working? So to understand that uh, we saw in our previous video uh, about introduction to Sling model, I have told you about the MVC pattern wherein we divide uh, something called as model, controller and view. And we, we told that in view we you only use the HTML language or a, any templating language uh, which is used to render uh, a particular content in the UI. Okay, so this is the rendering part. And this is the model wherein uh, we told that uh, this model will connect to the database and get, uh, get all the details. And this model will send those details into the view and view will render it. So the job of the model is to connect to the database and it will send uh, uh, that object into the controller and controller will send it to the view and view will render those uh, elements in the UI. This is the flow which we have seen earlier. Okay, but in AEM, we have the additional capability that every time you need not define a model to get a value from the database. Okay, so AEM has given us a global objects, a concept called global objects wherein instead of using the model, you can directly from the view itself, you can directly connect to the database and whatever values are there in the database, you can render it in the UI. That which enables us to directly connect to the database from the view itself are called as global objects. Okay, instead of uh, relying upon the Java, actual Java code, uh, we can directly connect to the database using these global objects. So the kind of operations which we can do by connecting to the database from the view will be limited. It will not be like a full scale Java, Java program which you are writing, right? Because we need to always remember that uh, the purpose of this view is always content rendering. Okay, so, uh, so the capabilities which are needed to render the content are available as part of the view, not more than that. 
okay you can connect to the database but the purpose of your connecting to the database is not data manipulation or doing something else okay so the purpose uh, for which you connect uh, to the database from the view is to render the content which is there in the database if that is the purpose then you can use the global objects okay so we'll see an example as to how to use these global objects in our code now okay so uh, before that i'll see i'll show you the documentation uh, the aems documentation this is where you have all the global objects defined okay we have certain enumerable global objects wherein we have the properties page properties and in inherited page properties and we also have the java backed objects okay so we'll go in detail but uh, for now uh, we'll try to understand what is this properties okay so using these properties we are going to connect to the database and see what are the values which the author has entered in the dialog box as i told here okay so i have created a component okay let's uh, go to the component okay so this is my hello component which i have created okay and i have added a dialog box to it okay so how do i add dialog box uh, this i have uh, created a detailed video i am not going to the creation part of it okay so now i have created this dialog box so now in this dialog box we have a uh, field called title right so this field called title what is the name of this field the name of this field is jcr title right so i have given the name as jcr title so whatever uh, value which we are entering here right whatever value which we are entering here it is being saved into database with a particular property name okay so what is that property name jcr title whatever i have defined as part of this name right that will be the name of the property okay and for that particular name of the property a particular value should be saved what is that value that value is being entered by the author okay and where is it getting saved it is getting saved in the page okay where whatever page we have opened in that particular page we have added a uh, hello component and in that component whatever author has entered is getting saved with the name with a particular property name and as i told this name is we have defined it as part of the dialog box okay and this is the value okay so now this value i'll have to get it and show it in the ui okay i'll have to show it here okay so to show that what i am using is this syntax okay so what i'll do is i'll open the dollar sign okay and i, I will put the dollar sign and open and close the parenthesis okay so this is the syntax to use the variables in cycle okay so if you want to use any of the variables then you will have to put it into the uh, parenthesis and you will have to start it with the dollar okay so that is one syntax and here you have this properties which is which is a global object okay so which means that whatever properties are there okay if you go here into the page and to the component these are the properties which you are seeing right whatever properties are there as part of this component all those things are saved into this variable and it is made available globally to you to be able to use in this particular component okay so all this uh, instantiation of this uh, uh, properties uh, object and everything uh, sling framework is doing for us so we are not doing all these things so let us try to understand how exactly the sling framework is doing it okay so to render a page you will enter a url right you will enter a url okay so it will go to that particular url okay so this is the content node right so it went to this test page then it will see what all component you have added okay so then it will come on to our component right so then this component properties it will put it into this properties variable then it will going to see how exactly these properties have to be rendered for that it needs to be it needs to identify what is the html code okay so how does it identify that there is a property called sling resource type right so using this sling resource type it will identify what is the script that needs to be executed so it will land up onto our node which is our component node so inside that component node it will open the html file and in that html file we are using this global variable since the flow came from this content node to this uh, script file it already notes what all properties are there uh, for that particular component inside that content node okay so that is already saved in the memory so the same thing is being injected here 
okay so that's what we need to understand and what we are doing here is dot the name of the property which we are giving okay what we want to access right that name we need to give here and just by giving that name you get this value in the ui so this is how the global objects are working okay so there are other global objects also like trace properties and mainly this java backed uh, objects are also there mainly when we see the java aem code right we get frightened uh, you by seeing some of the variable names like uh, what is this page manager what is resource what is resolver so all these things all this language we are not aware of okay so that uh, creates a fear in our mind okay so when we are using these classes right we just doesn't understand like what exactly they are talking about okay so that will be one of the main problem okay so to understand that so so the first thing which we need to do is we need we need to get comfortable with this language okay so when whenever they say page manager or resource dot adapted to what exactly they are talking about what exactly is happening if we understand that then that fear will go away okay so then we will be a bit comfortable in working in aem we'll cover this in detail in our next video thank you